Hello and welcome back to the Lewis Phillips Guitar Channel and today we are listening to the song Werewolf. I've not looked up anything but I will say I accidentally did see Motionless and White brought out like a post saying what's your favourite song on the album so far? Ours is Werewolf and that is what we're listening to today. So I'm expecting a banger. With a name like Werewolf, I'm hoping it's going to be really brutal, really screamy, really like animalistic. That's the plan anyway, that's, that's what we're hoping for. Let's go into the video and let's listen to Werewolf. Okay, straight away we've got a werewolf howl. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's not just the name of the song, hopefully it's gonna have quite a lot of featuring. I can feel you, I can hear you howling in Okay, very slow, very like simp heavy, sub bass there. Oh, I like that. Reminds me of that their synth wave song they brought out from voices. Very, very just like acting on the whole symbolism of the whole werewolf side of things. They've got a lot of howling in it. They're talking about silver bullets in the head. Silver bullets are the only way to kill werewolves. Very different to what I imagined this song to sound like, to be honest with you. I'm liking the vibe. Very nice and slow. The whole no one can break my heart like I can. That was a bit weird. I won't lie to you. Didn't really feel like it fit. Then we've got like the saying of the werewolf, which is like, you know, all weird vocally done. We're going to get into it a little bit more. I like the style. I like the kind of complete similes going through it or metaphors whatever you want to fucking call it I didn't do well in English it's a very left field song I'll say it really really has taken me by surprise I can appreciate though the amount that's gone into it like listen to everything like the shimmering in the background these high keys on the keyboard white marks That's from a different song, isn't it? Okay, so we've got a nod there. Can't remember what song it is. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Yeah, there's a lot of like, like subtle Easter eggs, let's say, in this song so far, I'd say. So far, I'd say. If we are true, all the monsters, the man become the monster, all the monster become man. I like that. I like this. I like his singing in this, definitely. See, that bit is the only bit I don't particularly like. It's almost like a bit like a dance song, isn't it? I feel like this is the most completely different song. This song completely stands out to the rest of the songs we've listened to on the album so far. Really different to like everything else. I know I said that every song is quite distinctive, but this one's really distinctive. After the first two songs that we've listened to, they were quite like fast paced and that. So obviously we've like changed it up a bit. We've slowed it back down and it's a completely different song. I'm enjoying it. It's not what I was expecting. I do like it. I do like the singing. It's a completely different like way of singing for him. We haven't actually had many screams, I feel like. I feel like it's just been vocal effects on top of it, making it very low and disfigured and that, which is which is cool. Let's keep going. Lies when the creature comes alive. Don't feel. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. 
feel like that song there was a song which allowed him to show off a lot more of his like singing like vocal range so he's not just constantly screaming and doing his like you know low growls and high pitch squeals or whatever very just keeping it like nice and soft but at the same time being able to like elevate and like what's the word amplify his voice in ways that we haven't really seen as much. As I said near the end, it started to feel like a bit of like a like a dance song. Like, you know, like the, the drum beat was quite good. Very like synthy electronic. And it was like constantly going up on like a rise. And it was like, I don't even know how to describe this song. I think it's gonna be a song that I'm gonna have to listen to a couple of times. I think I was just in like a right hyped, pumped up mood. I always do this on this channel. I always presume way too quickly. And then I feel like I get, I, I seem disappointed when I don't get what, what I was expecting. It's cool, it's different. It's a break from everything else that we've listened to on the album, I suppose. I like that it's a different direction that they've gone in. They've tried something different. They always have like an experimental song on these albums. It'd be funny if this isn't one of them and it turns if there's a completely different experimental one as well. In all honesty, it's a good song. Um, I've got to get my head around it a little bit more. I liked the whole like Easter eggs as I said before I think there's so many I completely missed as well But like lots of referring to like werewolf like lore. It was interesting Let me know what you thought about this song down below Do you think I'm being a little bit like cynical or do you did it take you a while to kind of get around to it? Um, let me know of any other songs on the album that you think is quite experimental uh, just to kind of give me a heads up and um, <laughs> Yeah, let me know how the album's going for you as well. I'll see you tomorrow So please like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. No howling. Maybe I was going to howl. No, I'm not going to howl. I'm not going to howl. Maybe I'll put a howling over it. I don't know. But yeah, see you next time.